What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with what's the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Part three. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? I'm gonna do this video in English because it's so hilarious and I just want people to know. Thank you for doing it in English, you feel me? Because that's the only language I understand. Oh, because ironically, not many Americans know this. So I went to high school in Florida. When I first uh -huh. got there, I'm Latina, Hispanic. I don't first of all, Florida, we don't claim Florida. First, before you go any further, friend. <laughs> We don't be claiming Florida. They, Florida got some craziness out there. They got some idiotic people. They got some wild people. They got, uh, yeah. We, I, did, <laughs> it's 49 states in the U.S. God dang it. We, we stopped claiming Florida. All right, now continue. I remember if I was in a classroom or at lunch. I think it was before the class started in a classroom. And to some people, even though my English can be okay, gringos can tell I'm a foreigner. Oops. So this white girl that was in front of me, she heard me talking to somebody and she asked where I was from. So I said, oh, I'm from Puerto Rico. And then she went, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Why? It must have been so harsh for you to get here as an immigrant. <laughs> not the colonizer, not knowing that they colonized me. No, um, I mean, US citizen since 1917 because Puerto Rico was invaded by the US in 1898. But Puerto Rico's not in America. Yeah, look at it, my bestia, holy shit. When I was lost in America. Oh, uh, is it terrible that I didn't know that either? I'm gonna just put my head down. Put my... I can't even face the camera. It's sad that I can't even face the camera. I'm closing my eyes when I'm looking up. Because I feel like I, I didn't know it either. I wouldn't have said I'm so sorry, you know what I'm saying? Like, it must have been so hard for you to... I wouldn't have done all that now. But, uh... I, I just didn't think about Puerto Rico was being... Was it annexed by the U.S.? Is that what she said? And so, anyone from Puerto Rico is a U.S. citizen. Uh, I did, Continue the video. I'm sorry. America. Diablo, que tipo más bestia, holy shit. When I was last in America, this guy was like, Hey man, where's your accent from? And I was like, oh, I'm British. And then he was like, British? It sounds more like Scottish or something. First of all, my accent is very clearly English. I it's swear to God, Scottish. no. Second, Scotland is in Great Britain. So yes. a Scottish accent is a British accent anyway. Yes. So I'm yes. American. Yes, his, I heard a Scottish accent, and his definitely ain't a Scottish accent, but I also did know Scotland was in Great Britain. I also did know that. And so, okay, no, I don't feel dumb about that one. So a Scottish accent is a British accent anyway. So I'm American, obviously, but I got a story for you. This oh one time God. I was at an audition in Nashville, and I was sitting next to this pretty blonde girl. I asked her where she was from, and she said... I'm from Alabama. How about you? Nice. I'm from Oklahoma. Huh? I I'm from Oklahoma? What is that? Excuse me? What? what is that? What is it? it, it it's a state. Like in the United States? Yes. In the United States of America. I I've never heard of that. You've never heard of Oklahoma? No, where is that? It's like, it's like right in the middle of the country, like right above Texas, yeah. you know. Oh, so, so it's next to California. That is one hundred percent true story. There's no way. There's there's no way. There's no way. He said it's right above Texas, like in the middle of the the country. So it's next to California. Uh, oh Lord, oh Lord, we are so lost in this country. There's so many of us that, that are just, just don't know much, don't know anything about the rest of the world, but God dang it, don't know even know, don't even know much about your own country. <sighs> Canadian here. 
Right after I moved to America, I went to the Social Security office so that I could apply for a Social Security number so that I could mm-hmm. work in America. Yes. I went up to the little kiosk and I punched in that I was applying for my very first Social Security number. And the man who was working there said, Excuse me, ma'am, you're going to want to punch in that you're applying for a replacement card, not a new number. And I said, no, sir, I don't have a social security number. I am applying for the first time. And he said, and you're an American? And I said, no, sir, I actually just moved here from Canada just a couple of weeks ago. And he he said this. (laughs) Ma'am, I have to say, your English is amazing. I'm done. I'm done, bro. No, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about to face this embarrassment. I, I, I can't anymore. I'm turning around. I'm looking at the door. I'm done. I, I'm done. I, I, oh, I, I don't know what to say. I, 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 I don't know what I truly. I de- I deeply and truly have no idea what to say about that. Like, <laughs> I don't know what language he think they speak in Canada, but but this is <laughs> I just, I'm just done. I, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing it anymore, man. Yeah. After learning my name, people like to ask me where I'm from. Okay. And I tell them I'm from Czech Republic. And then they ask what I speak. And so I tell them, I speak Czech. And then they ask me, Oh, so you speak Russian? So are you Russian? (laughs) Czechoslovakia, that's a part of Russia. So you're Russian. (laughs) So you grew up in the USSR. You're Russian. Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? (laughs) Gavrish Peruski. Oh yeah, that's right. You must be Russian. No, I, I'm I'm not. Wrong country, wrong language, and, and the wrong country. So I'm gonna just preface this and oh say I'm, I'm from Canada, right? And the one time I ever uh, went to uh, Los Angeles, California, I was somewhere around Santa Monica Beach with my family, and I went to a skate shop and I bought myself a skate deck. And when I told the dude who was working there who sold me the deck. Um, when I told him I was Canadian, his response, like his, he, his mouth dropped and he was like, you can skateboard in snow. And I laughed and said, what do you mean? And he's like, well, it's a frozen wasteland there, isn't it? And it's like, no, it's, it's, it's sunny. And like, like there is, like, there's only snow for 85% of the year. The, the other 15%, uh, you, you can skateboard like nothing. Right. And he's like, oh, well, if it isn't snowy all the time, how do you live in the igloos? I'm so done. I'm I'm not. I can't. Get, bro. <laughs> Who are these Americans? Who are these Americans out here saying this, making us all look bad? Stop. They must be stopped at all costs. We cannot have this anymore. We can't have I'm it. I'm not lying at all. So I'm from Germany, but I've lived in Switzerland for my entire life until 2015 when my family moved to the US and I spent two years living there, so I've heard a lot of dumb shit, but here's the worst of it. So one time I was with a group of people and I was on the phone with my friend in Germany and when we hung up I said, good night, sleep well. And this guy is like, so he goes, why is she going to bed? It's like 3 p.m. And so I had to explain that because she's in Germany, she's six hours ahead because of time zones. Mm-hmm. And he looks really confused, like, and then he asked me if Germany is six hours ahead, why did nobody ever warn them about 9-11 happening? This guy... <laughs> I want to cry. I want to cry. I, I want to legit cry, bro. Like, <laughs> if they're six hours ahead, why did they want?
going to survive 9-11. I'm done, bro. I, I, I'm not this. <laughs> this is insanity. These people, oh, all these Americans must be stopped. We must put it into them. We cannot have them going out saying this. I, oh, my God. It, it makes us look terrible. <laughs> literally thought that time zones meant that you could time travel. Jesus. Once I was sitting in a bar in Atlanta and this man kept calling me an Arab. And like, mm -hmm. I didn't know what an Arab was because Americans can't pronounce shit, man. I just didn't. Yeah. And so like, I was just staring at him like, what is this dude saying? And I was like, I don't understand your accent. And my American friend said to me, he's calling you an Arab. And I was like, oh, and I turned around and I went, dude, no, I'm Pakistani. This one isn't about me being brown. This one is about me being English. So I was out with my friends at this like pizza place, I think. And some dude came over and he was a friend of my friend. And he was like, do you guys have pizza in the UK? Like, like seriously, do we have pizza? Like not That's even so, sarcastic. It's so stupid. And I was like, oh, you know, they banned pizza in the 80s because the queen choked on some pizza. And like, so now you can only buy pizza on the black market. And it's really hard because like, you don't know the kind of quality they put in the cheese. Sometimes it's like rat milk and the vegetables are like, they come from like the trash. It's like, shit, man, England is rough. Yeah, don't even have pizza. So some days <laughs> said yuck in Costco looked at me and said go back to your own country I was with my mom who wears a headscarf and I was like honey I have no accent and I know there are 50 states in this greater America do you know that do you know that have you written two novels honey can you spell tsunami t-s-u-n-a-m-i tsunami bitch I mean, give me a break. When you look at foreigners and immigrants in this country and say, go back to your own country, honey, we speak better English than you do and we have more degrees, counted degrees, than you can ever get, you basic American from Idaho. Eat your potatoes and shut your mouth. Nick. I'd like to I, 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 well, that's, that's how you let them have it. I, 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 you gotta let them have it, dude. Here, please. Cool, I just need to see your ID. Here you go. I can't take that. You can't take my passport? It's not a valid form of ID. You gotta have American ID to buy alcohol in America. It's oh, an American oh passport. It says my birthplace <laughs> is Tennessee. You gotta get an American passport to come to America. Everybody knows that. You know that, because you have one. That's not true at all. If you're such an American, why can't you just give me your driver's license? Because my wallet got stolen. And even if I did have that, you can take a passport. Let me go ask my manager if she'll make an exception. Hi, what seems to be the problem here? Your cashier won't let me use my passport as identification to buy beer. Yeah, you gotta have an American ID to buy alcohol in America. But that's really cool though, I've never seen a passport before. Where are you from? Here! He <laughs> said, where are you from? Here! <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, I thought passport was a valid form of ID. I don't know if they was just tripping in there, this gas station or whatever, or if you actually do have to have like a driver's license or ID like to get beer. And do you have to have American ID to get beer in America? Is that true? Do you have Christmas in Ireland? Yes, we do. Do you have Thanksgiving in Ireland? No, we don't. Do you have Halloween in Ireland? We invented a fucking thing! <laughs> I have made a video before about the dummy dumb shit Americans have said to me since moving here, and yes. um, almost every single day, especially when I would work at the movie theatre, I would get people coming up to me, just staring, and being like, I didn't know there were black people from England. Oh my like, god, Okay, are kidding Keep me, that bro. shit to yourself, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, keep that to yourself. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Why do people? I'm telling you, I say we don't know anything about the rest of the world. Y'all can hear it in these questions. Now I'm not. I was never, never, ever, ever at that at, at the point where I didn't think it was colored people all around the world. 
That legit baffles me. That truly bad. I didn't know there were black people in England. That's dumb. That's ignorance. That's <laughs> that's insane. But I will admit that I don't know much about the rest of the world. I've learned a lot more through reaction videos, but I still don't know much at all. You know, it's early July and I'm in Marrakesh. I've just checked into this hostel and I'm sitting on one of these chairs here by the pool. So this young couple from Georgia sparks up a conversation with me. So the couple invite me up to like the roof, this like roof patio thing to see the fireworks. So we end up on the roof terrace here, uh, mingling with various nationalities. And the Americans are asking like, does anyone know when the fireworks start? Everyone's a bit confused. Anyway, it transpires that it is the 4th of July, American oh. Independence Day. We're in Morocco. There's maybe like 10 of us all trying to explain to this American couple why they probably don't have fireworks for the 4th of July in Marrakesh, Morocco. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Stay oh tuned for more. Oh my god. I, I don't know what to say in defense of a lot of the things that were said in this video. I don't really have a defense. Um, yeah, it was embarrassing. I think that's about all I can say it was embarrassment. <laughs> that's all we got. If you guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Shibuya Dinia, out.